Hello and welcome. Today we are going to look at the preparation of iron 2 sulfide through direct synthesis. You might have heard of this method of preparation of salts. It's one of the easiest as the name suggests direct synthesis. That means we are going to directly combine two substances to form the product that we want which is iron 2 sulfide. So what do we need? We shall obviously need our iron and we shall need sulfur to provide this sulfide portion. So here we have our iron filings. At least if you have ever played with a magnet, either in class or outside class, you might have come across iron in this form. Basically kind of scraps of iron particles. So we have iron filings and it's basically grey in color. And then we have our powder sulfur. Pow sulfur in powder form. It's basically yellow in color. So all we have to do is to first mix these two before we apply some little heat. So we shall need some container, mix this iron filings with this sulfur and then we shall apply some heat and see what happens. So it's basically going to take three stages or three steps as we are going to see. Step one, we shall have to mix our iron with sulfur. In this case, we shall use an equipment that can withstand high temperatures because one thing to note is that this reaction is highly exothermic, meaning that it gives out a lot of heat. And if you are not careful, your glass might break. If at all you are using normal glass or shutter, if at all you are using aluminium, your aluminium will melt. So you have to use things like concrete which can withstand high temperatures because this reaction will be exothermic once it starts. So we shall do some little heating until our sulfur will melt. Remember sulfur is in powder form. All we have to do is to ensure that at least we melt it into sulfur liquid. So that's why we are applying heat on step two. Basically, this reaction will take place when all our sulfur is in liquid form and then the reaction can be sparked off and then we shall form our black ion 2 sulfide. So this is the equation for the reaction. We shall have our ion which is a solid. That's why we have, that's why we have our S. Then we have sulfur which is in liquid form although some textbooks will show solid but this reaction will mainly take place when our sulfur is in liquid form and then we shall form iron 2 sulfide. Remember valence of iron in this case is 2 and the valence of sulfur in this case is 2. So if you are to come up with the chemical formula of iron sulfide it will just be FES. So that is iron sulfide. So one thing to note with this experiment it's better to carry it out in an open environment because as we know sulfur once we are heating it so that it can melt there is a tendency of it forming a very highly toxic gas, which is sulfur dioxide. So we have to ensure that where we are carrying out this experiment, it's well ventilated. So three steps, mix the two, but you have to ensure that when you are mixing them, try to minimize the friction because you never know it may, it may spark off that reaction. So first we mix iron and sulfur, then we heat and then we shall have our iron sulfide. So this is the equation for the reaction that will take place. So remember, like I've said, it's better use something concrete to try to avoid glass because this reaction is highly exothermic. This is an image showing how our mixture, here we have our iron portion, and if you can see these yellow portions, this is basically our sulfur. So this is the sulfur iron mixture after the reaction being ignited with some little application of heat probably they used a glass rod to apply some heat so at around 100 degrees celsius our sulfur will melt and the reaction will start remember like i've said if you use your glass you can see what happens your glass can break if your boiling tube you have used is not strong enough to withstand high temperatures it will also crack and then we shall be left with our black iron sulfide so iron sulfide is black in color 
at least you should be knowing the different colors of the components you have used. We said our iron filings, these were, were actually green color. We talked about our sulfur, this one being yellow in color. And we have now talked about our iron sulfide being black in color. Usually these colors are necessary because sometimes you may be asked to describe what may be observed yet actually you are in a theory paper. So that's all, maybe plus our heat being evolved because it is highly exothermic. So the product formed obviously is a, comp it's a compound and we can't use a magnet to separate this iron from the sulfur. That's all I had for you today. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe so that you are always notified whenever I upload new content. Stay safe.